Hey, welcome back. This is Jeremy, and today we're going to be discussing print versus print line and the subtle differences between them. Well, I guess they're not so subtle. I guess they're kind of big and noticeable differences. But that being said, let's go ahead and let's make ourselves a new Java project. So we'll go full. Actually, let's close this one out first. We're, we're done with it for now. So we're going to go File, New, Java Project, and I'm going to name it Print V for versus Print Line. And finish that up. Open this up, right click on your SRC folder and go to class. And I'm going to call it the same thing as I call the project just because I don't know, it's easier for me to remember that way. So I'm going to hit finish. Oh, so let's do a quick recap of what this is. This is the class header. And if you don't know what these green lines are here, these are, or these, this green lettering I should say, is uh, just basically just a comment. Okay, so in here, we're going to type in the um, class, uh, the main method. Uh, method. All right. So here is going to be. Let's see. It's public. Static. Void. Main. String. I saw a method wrong. All right, that's better. All right, so in the last one, we just print out through the screen just hello world, and that was as simple as system dot out dot print. Oops, I don't know why it does that, it bothers me. And we'll just type in, I don't know, hey there for right now. Something simple. Hey there. How are you today, good sir? All right, so this should work just fine so let's test it real quick make sure it works we'll hit run yep and right down here we get hey there let's see I wonder if I can pull this up just a little bit yeah that's a little easier to see so this is print I mean you're probably asking okay so what what does print line do well let's see let's put a print line in there hit control s to save hit run well it looks exactly the same huh see no difference well, what the print line does, it puts a new line character at the end down here. So if I were to type in, say, another system dot out dot just print and put in just say just say hello, hello back, some random that this should technically be underneath this. So let's hit run. Well, that's pretty neat. Ain't too bad, is it? So, if I were to get rid of this LN here, well, what happened? There is no new line character down this area. So, this one should be, should start right next to this exclamation point. It should be all one kind of collaborate, jumbled up phrase. So, let's hit run and see what happens. Yes, I forgot to hit save. So, that's what happens there between the print and print line. Oops. I find myself just out of habit always typing out print line. I, I just don't know why. I just do it all the time. But you don't have to. Um, you can introduce some escape characters. So, like right here. If I want to do a new line, oops, hit a slash in. You just put it right there. So, when I type this, or excuse me, when I run this, it should drop this hello world back to where it was before. There we go. There's also another one for tab. So say like I want this one to be tabbed in. I'm not sure why it would, but why not? Let's just do it tabbed in. So it should be, I'm guessing, maybe, maybe around the Y area. Save it. We'll run it. Huh, that didn't work. Well, because I hit the wrong slash. <laughs> All right, that slash. It's the one above the, uh, the enter key. I'm sorry. I apologize. There we go. Oh, wow, it was way over. So there's that one. If we wanted to, let's see, that doesn't really make sense. So let's make a, let's do this. Uh, food I like to eat. Put a colon. All right. We'll say eggs. I'm just going to copy and paste this just to make it look quicker. 
So, eggs, uh, what else is good? Pizza, bread, not pasta, pozo, whatever it is spelled. And, um, steak, why not? Alright, control S. So we should have a nice little list here of things I like to eat. Oh, what happened? Why is it all like this? Why is it not vertical? Well, let's make it vertical. So at the end of here, no, we have two options. We can just do L in here. L in here. And of course, I'll in there as well. And then run. Oops. It's in order. Or, just control Z. Oops. Out of this. And we can just put slash N at the end of all these as well. And we will get the same results that we had before. Now, there's other things as well. If we wanted certain characters to show up, like, um,. Let me see. Let me think of one right top of my. See, like I want to put a quote in. You no, know, quotes are kind of important. So let's put. Oops, that's not the one I wanted. To, so say like I really, really like pizza or steak. Let's get rid of all this. I just want to kind of make that known to everyone. I like this stuff. I put, I can put single quotes around it. I can put double quotes around it. So there's the majority of them. I think there's a couple other ones. I can't, yeah, I think there's like a backspace and a carriage return. I don't think I've ever used those ones, but I've used these ones before. The quote, the single quote, or yeah, single quote, double quote, the tab, the new line. It just kind of how you want to structure your, um, the way your wording comes out. That's what I use it for. Let me make sure that was everything I wanted to, yeah, I think so. I think that's about everything. The difference between print and print line. So the differences were for print line, it adds a new line character to it. So basically, just whatever's after the next print statement will be put down one line below it. If you use a print line, it's a single line, and it just if you use a bunch of print, just normal prints, I'll just keep adding more to that statement. So it'd be all jumbled up together. It doesn't look really pretty. So. I hope you guys enjoy this new series that I'm working on. Until then, you guys have a great day. Make sure you hit subscribe, like, share this video with all your friends. I'll see you guys later.